The Lunar Gateway will be the next major international collaboration in space exploration. The modular space station will orbit the Moon and serve as an outpost for astronauts exploring the Moon's surface. To analyze the interaction between the piloting astronaut and lunar lander dynamics while landing on the Moon, the European Space Agency, ESA, has initiated together with GMV, TASS, and the German Aerospace Center, DLR, a project entitled Human in the Loop Flight Vehicle Engineering. As a culmination of the project, ESA astronaut and test pilot Roberto Vittori has tested for the first time various lunar landing maneuvers in the flight deck of the DLR robotic motion simulator at the German Aerospace Center in Oberpfaffenhofen, Germany. The motion simulator was developed at the DLR Institute of System Dynamics and Control and allows for extreme tilt angles and maneuvers. The simulator is based on an industrial robot arm with a flight deck capsule attached to the end. The current cockpit that we are using right now is also built in a very modular way and has been configured specifically for the lunar landing at TASC. The team equipped the capsule with touchscreens, new input devices for the astronaut, and a virtual flight deck window. The researchers developed a high-resolution lunar visualization that also allowed the maneuvers of the lunar module to be observed on a large screen outside the simulator. So, getting the initial experience through modeling and simulation is extremely important. It's extremely important because it's the only way that we have to build our future. A dynamic model of the lunar lander is coupled interactively with the movement of the robot so that the astronaut feels directly how the spacecraft reacts to his actions. Without the simulator motion, the astronaut has more difficulty assessing the current state of the landing module and would require more training hours to do so. The main goals of the ESA project are to evaluate human-machine interfaces and assistance functions for spacecraft. In other words, the project team is investigating in greater detail how well an astronaut can control and navigate the lunar module while under the influence of motion during its final moon landing descent phase. As part of the project, DLR researchers are also studying how the conditions and effects of motion that occur in lower gravity can best be simulated on Earth. Roberto's experience in space and his feedback of today's experiment will help us determine the best way of doing motion simulation for reduced gravity environments. The resulting findings will be used to define the technical requirements for future lunar landing missions. We will test three different landing scenarios today. A fully autonomous mode in which the astronaut has nothing to do, a semi-autonomous mode in which the astronaut has the ability to change or to relocate its final landing destination, in a fully manual mode in which the astronaut has to take control of the instruments and fly pilot this lunar lander to the lunar soil. Real-time path planning active, starting Cartesian path planning. System is live. We're going to start the motion. The experiment shows that motion simulators are very useful platforms for the development and testing of new space technologies. It was a, a beautiful run. The simulator is an incredible machine. The simulator is uh, probably one of the best that I have experienced between Russia and the USA. This experiment today is, uh, for me, showing that Europe can play a key role in the future of exploration. We are now able to improve on our motion queuing algorithm. So in future 
experiments, our robot will be able to move more accordingly to how an astronaut would experience this in a low gravity scenario. This is a beautiful place to work, very professional people, beautiful uh, infrastructures, beautiful simulators, so I'll be ready to continue.